Today is only the 8th of November and already over the last two or three days I've had people ring the office saying, what can I get my husband or my wife for bonsai Christmas presents? So they were absolutely strapped for ideas. They didn't know what to think. So I said, we'll give you some ideas. So I thought, what better way to introduce Christmas than to give you some ideas. So although I'm wearing this coat, Ta-da, let me do a strip tease. <laughs> I put on my special Christmas Hawaiian shirt for you to put you in the Christmas spirit. So here we are. So the obvious thing people buy usually books, tools, small things, but let's take you through some of the ideas. Okay, so the obvious thing people like to buy is books. We still stock this very popular book, The Bonsai Beginner's Bible. This is only 13 pounds. Sadly, all these things we cannot send outside the UK, so it's only a price to our British customers. But at least it gives you some ideas, whether, wherever you live, this gives you some ideas as to what to buy. So books are the obvious thing. Then we have the Bonsai Master Class, which I rewrote, called The Definitive Chapter. This we also sell. Books, by the way, we can sell all over the world. And these little booklets we give for free, very, very popular over Christmas, we find our, our tool set. As some of you know, we now have our specially branded Heron's tools. So our tool maker has now produced a range of tools specially for us. So we do a, I think this is called our seven piece tool set. Seven piece tool set. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So you get here stainless steel wire cutter, stainless steel when cutter, stainless steel, this is a hybrid cutter, then the popular rake, trimming scissors, satsuki shears, trimming scissors, and a little brush. If you didn't want to have these tools, you can make up your tool set. I'll show you what we've got. So let me go to the tool area and show you our tool racks here. So, as I was saying, if you want to make up your own tool set, you can buy these tool holders. This is what we call our tool holder. And you can buy tools to fit into the tool holder. So while I'm here, let's look at some of the tools. You must be wondering why we have uh, these different tools. So we have our black steel. These are just slightly cheaper than the stainless steel tools, very sharp, made by the same tool maker, uh, as Chinese tool maker. And I believe this tool maker supplies Japan as well, and they're branded to their make or their name. So they're all made by the same people. After all, you can't sneeze at Chinese tools. What isn't made in China today? All the best things are made from your humble iPhone to all the sophisticated electric cars, all made in China. So tools are nothing. This is a cakewalk for them. So apart from the black tools we have, again, we have them in the complete range, when cutter, wire cutters, uh, knob cutters, gin pliers, you name it, we do it, even small uh, parrot beak wire cutter. And then we do the same range in stainless. You only need to look at our website to see. So these are the ordinary large handle trimming scissors, small handle trimming scissors, so many different designs, bewildering array of tools. And then we have this special, very narrow blade uh, branch cutter, gin pliers in two sizes, then little rakes. And then this is a tool which not many people know of. These in fact came from Japan many years ago. We used to buy these from Japan. So this is a tool that is produced in Japan. And uh, this is a branch bender. I remember on John Narker's first trip to the UK, I don't want to open this, but on his first trip to the UK, he showed people how to use this. And John Narker was very fond of using this branch bender. Let me open it and show you how we use this tool. So can you see? It's this tool, and if you want to bend a branch, you put it like that, and then you can bend it like that. So it's like a car lever or jack, very useful tool to have. These we sell for only 19 pounds, so that is an unusual tool to have. 
And then, of course, you have these very large tools, such a large branch splitter, large branch cutter. So if you're handling big stuff, these are the tools to go, the large size we do. And then the rake is one of the most popular useful tools for teasing the roots. But another very popular tool we found recently, which some people now like to use, if you don't believe in using the rake, we call this a prodder. So they're like sharp spikes, comes in two sizes. These proved very popular. We sell this all the time. Every week we sell a few of these tools. So that's a very popular thing. Then you have these brass brushes, nylon brushes for cleaning driftwood and gins. Uh, these are a few Japanese tools we have. And these knick-knack things, these, some people call them mud men, but they're glazed figures of men making bonsai and various things. So they're all made in China. Another very useful thing. This is a Japanese tool, by the way. It's a hose which you attach to the um, ordinary hose pipe, and you can water your trees with this. So that is useful. How about this? We do a little case. If you want to give a little case to hold the tools and knickknacks, beckoning cat we do, and of course our range of t-shirts and things, our famous beanie hat. Our t-shirts, by the way, we don't sell from the nursery. They're sold by the company called Tea Mill, which is a sustainable British company, and they will send their t-shirts and other clothes direct to you. So we do not market it from here. We only get the royalties on that. So that is something I can tell you. Something unusual of those of you who make Japanese gardens, we still have the Japanese cords for making gardens, tying the bamboo sticks. Something which not a lot of people use these days, but if you're into carving, in fact, if you watch some of the videos that are shown of these Chinese bonsai artists, they do a lot of carving simply using these hand tools. So look at this, very useful carving tool like that, you know, for carving. So you don't have to use power tools all the time. These are beautiful tools, good handle for carving, very useful tool. And they come in different sh uh, blades, different shapes. And then if we come here, you can see we do the potting mesh for putting under the pot to cover the holes. So we do them. These, these come from Japan as well. We do special chopsticks. These are the prodders. What about cut paste, different types of cut paste, scoops. So you can just home in on this. You see the range of products we do. We even sell moss, as you know, we use sell moss for reviving sick trees or for making air layerings. And then there's fertilizer. Little misters. So a little mister for spraying the leaves. Sophisticated stainless steel watering cans. And then, of course, wires. We do 20 different grades of wire. From one millimeter to about seven or 10 millimeter. We have it all. So before we go on to the trees, I know that large pots are very hard to send by internet, but some people do buy big pots, but they come here personally. But if you wanted to buy pots, you can easily buy the small pots and send them by our courier service. So we have such a range of lovely, high quality Chinese pots. We still have some very, very good quality Tokoname pots, which I purchased about 30 years ago. I'm eking out the supply because they're like gold dust. Very difficult to get, but we purchased this 30 years ago. And of course, we've got thousands and thousands of Chinese pots, Korean pots. I must say some of the Chinese pots are very sophisticated, very good quality. Yeah, look at these little cascade. These are very popular presents, this size. And uh, some of the 
Chinese pots have got this beautiful crackle. If you home in on this, you can see the crackle glaze on this. I don't know whether the camera can pick it up. See all these cream pots and the green pots here. Very nice crackle glaze. It just shows you what we do. And of course, the plastic pots are so popular. Let's go and have a look at the range of our plastic pots. See, these are small plastic pots, cheap and cheerful for small trees, about half the price of conventional ceramic pot. And then these we sell literally scores every day in all sizes, plastic pots in all sizes. Look at that, these are all plastic. For your training trees, you can't beat these. These are beautiful pots. These are made in Taiwan. And then, of course, we have the mica pots, unbreakable pots, long lasting. I've had mica pots that have lasted me about 30 years. We used to buy them in the late 80s when they first came on the market. So there are things galore. And of course, we're now that we've looked at the pots, let's look at some of the trees. Indoor trees are very popular at Christmas because people like to buy it and enjoy it over Christmas in their living room. So the citrus, we have so many types of citrus. They all flower and produce fruit. These are the fruit for next year. Look at the small fruit. They just flowered a couple of months ago. And of course, talking of indoor trees, we have ficuses, which are four to five foot wide, four to five foot high. If you have a big house and you want a posh Christmas present, we can deliver these for you as well. So there you go. And of course, the outdoor trees, if you want to be really sophisticated, let's have a look at some of the outdoor trees. So where do we begin? We have thousands of bonsai, all sorts. You can buy these lovely olives, which are partly trained. All they need is a bonsai pot. You can then buy a pot to suit it. And then we have got olives this size as well. Look at them, how cute they are. So all sorts of olives are around. Look at our lovely larches. Some of them are very mature trees. Still got their autumn leaves on. And of course, if you want to go to the sophisticated stuff, we've got all sorts of sophisticated trees. You name it, we've got it. Something very popular we found are these trees. We had about a hundred of these trees and they sold so well, look at them. Beautiful little cork bark black pines. Then let's look at some of the crab apples. Crab apples are popular because they have fruit, they flower in fruit. So this is typical of the crab apples. But the birds steal the fruit. You know, as the winter sets in and they don't have food, they will take the crab apple fruit to feed themselves. A look at that. So some of our chojuba is still in bloom. So I hope this gives you some ideas to the range of stuff you can buy for Christmas. It's literally anything you wish to buy, you can buy. But I thought I'd give you some ideas for the small things. So, on that note, I hope you've got some ideas to what to get your partners or your children, grandchildren for Christmas if they are bonsai, 
enthusiasts. So happy shopping and I'm wishing you a very early Christmas and have a lovely time.